Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. It's blue baby time. We're going for 50. Chat. Comments. Whatever the hell. We're going for 50. On a rotation streak. This is the number I honestly did not expect to make it to. Like, rotation streaks are incredibly fun to me. I love rotation streaks. They're 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 a true test of skill. And we've been over this many times because you have to play as every character. And you have to play well as every character. Or at least decent as a few of them. Like you can't there's no easy run on a rotation streak. And and Blue Baby is one of those characters that you cannot afford to slip up as. We've had some good luck uh, with I I would even agree to say some good play. Uh, we've had some bad runs, there's no doubt behind that. Like, we've had some bad runs that we had to kind of force our way through. Luckily, some of our bad runs... Iron Bar's pretty good here. Luckily for us, uh, some of our bad runs happened on characters that I can... I have a little bit of breathing room with. We didn't run into any situations where we had a, a shit keeper run that had to... Actually, we did. We did have a pretty bad keeper run and a pretty bad loss run that we had to turn around. But the, the point is, is like, of the hiccups we have had, the bad runs we've had, whether it's an Eden or a keeper or a lost, or even the, even the, I think, two Lilith, two Lilith runs at this point that were kind of, kind of sketchy, we had to make our way through. And I just, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't want to sit here and compliment myself because at the end of the day, Luck plays a huge part of it, but when it comes to a rotation streak, a giant part of the rotation is understanding the characters. And I think our first time around was actually our best, just because the first time around you kind of... You let me know, which which time around so far do you think was the best, like as far as performance-wise? Because I think the second rotation was a lot of luck. There's no doubt, you know, 16 to 30 was a lot of luck. This one, I don't even remember because it was a while ago that I was recording them. Uh, Marbles is... Well, I mean... I don't... <sighs> I think I gotta take the no trinket just so we only get passive items. This is a silly decision that's gonna probably haunt me for the rest of my day. But I'm taking the no trinket. I know we have the poop. And it's definitely worth getting rid of. But passive items are what is going to make this blue baby run pop off. And I have to make this decision. Passive items are going to change this run for only the better. It's a risky decision. And it's one of those decisions that I have to make. Knowing that it could end up screwing us over. You know, a pinking shears or, you know, a book of Belial or, I mean, a crystal ball. All potential things that could have really changed this run for the better. Now no longer going to be able to appear. And that is just something that we're going to have to deal with. Going forward in this run. A luck upgrade is fantastic. We need a key. I'd like to go into our item room. I'm going to bomb this. Because it's a free bomb. Or it's a free two soul hearts I should say. This is going to be a risky room here because I hate this room. You can never tell when they're going to shoot at you. There's a key. We got it. Alright, item room is going to be passive. I'm hoping for a tears upgrade. Money equals power is way good. Because this is only going to help the blue baby run. Because I'm not really too worried about spending money. Because our shop is only going to have passive items. Which means a black candle has a higher chance of appearing. That's also true. I'm realizing some of the positives of having no. I do appreciate no as a trinket. Y'all know I like like no. There's more keys as well. But I think our first rotation was the best performed. Just because I went in... Like you go... Oh my god. You go in 100% knowing. You acknowledge... Okay, this is the character we're going to play as. You explain what you're doing. This is the character we're going to play as. You explain what you're doing. And you just... You, you push through that first rotation. And then after that you kind of fall into your own way of playing. Rather than playing for the character. And I think we've done a good job of making the runs effective, if that makes sense. Like, not only did we have runs where we were able to play, you know, Pentaball, we were able to play like a Pentaron would, but 
we also managed to play it. I don't know, I'm, I'm not even making sense, I don't think. You know what I'm talking about, though. You play a run that's not designed for the character, and instead designed for how I want to play the run. But I think we've also done a good job playing to the character. Like, our character here, we are not playing to him quite yet, because, well, we've clearly kept the poop. But I think this is a good idea. I, I genuinely, until the end of this run, I will believe that this poop play is the best play. Not because of the poop. Also, with money equals power, poop isn't terrible. Keep that in mind. This devil deal is going to seal it or deal it. Ooh, that's actually perfect. Give me the threes. That's actually unfortunate. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with skipping those. Blue pill. Health down. I don't even care. I don't even care. You could argue bomb the shit out of the donation machine, but we just started getting our donation machine back to uh, full functionality. And I'm excited about the fact that we got our donation machine back to pu its purest form of being above 100. Also remember that poop is a defensive item. Keep that in mind as we move forward. I love the little dolly. I do love the little dolly on our on our boy, and also just the fact that it's an HP upgrade. A potential HP upgrade, I should say. It's not always guaranteed. As Blue Baby, if it was three red hearts, that would have been unfortunate. If it would have been like three black hearts, or three soul hearts, or a mix of the, the two, I would have been really happy. But unfortunately for us, we got gypped with only, uh, only one black heart. But as far as I'm concerned, that's decent enough. There's definitely a dude over here spawning spiders! Oh my god! He's too fast. <laughs> He's too fast. I'm gonna go in here. The devil card? Actually a decent card. We don't have a card, so every card is good. Two of spades is really good. It's a free two keys. Devil card we're gonna take, absolutely. Still looking for that item room. It's gonna be a passive item. Also, curse rooms, huge deal because we can get items from those as well. Secret rooms as well. I'm trying to think of a secret room item that is an active item and I'm blanking on it. I don't know why I'm blanking on it. You think this is the stuff that I would commit to memory, but I have a book of shadows is in there. I don't think crystal balls in the, in the secret room pool, even though I think it should be. Compost is in there, I think. Or is compost just a shop item? Good lord, I actually don't remember. You think these are the things I would recognize. Confusion tears from Iron Bar are usually always a bad thing, but I'm not disappointed in their behavior this time. Just because we have the poop, it's an easy defense. Just in case a tear starts flying at us, we could pop the poop and, you know, escape it. But also just the fact that it keeps them at bay. Michael Bay. Alright, so we're gonna definitely bomb this boy. I'll take my damage upgrade. Uh, chariot card for a potential... Well, actually, this is splendid as well. Because I can use this on the boss fight. I got hit by this man. And I got hit and lost a stat? How did that work? Blue cap is amazing. So we're at max tiers now. Now we'll take our devil card. We are going to find our item room. Blue cap is amazing. It's a tiers increase on top of an HP upgrade. On top of a shot speed downgrade, which we actually kind of needed. Our shot speed was getting a little too high. Looking out for that Tech X. Looking out for that... Really, there's so many things that we can get on this run that'll benefit us in a good way. This is a good Blue Baby run. Uh, I'm going to judge... <laughs> my... Uh, no play. Oh, we swallowed the no trinket. That's what we did. Cap. Okay, see, now, because it's a tier delayed downgrade, now this is where I am 100% okay to admit 
no was a good choice. No was a good choice. And it was actually such a good choice. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to bomb this. That is not a donation machine. My brain actually broke there for a second. I thought that was a donation machine. Even though clearly, clearly upon even the glimpse through a catacomb in Italy, that was a reroll machine. You never know. You never know. So we got Spider Maw here. Spider Maw, Spider Maw does whatever a Spider Maw does. Can he spit spiders at you? Yes, he can, because he's Spider Maw. Look out! I took a heart of damage. Okay, confused fatty champion is not good. Fortunately, we have a lot of damage. We have so much DPS and a health upgrade as well. He jumped over there. I've used this. It's a perks pill, which means for this room, we're only taking half heart, even though we were only going to take a half heart anyway. I'm taking way too much damage. That health up is effectively gone now. Mega Fatty Champion is one of my least favorite champions. Because he's got the cage, the cage wave. He's also quick jumper. My god, what a brutal man. So much red hearts. So, ma so many red hearts. Excuse me, my brain... And my uh, my gullet are both dying, it appears. Can I shoot this uh, boy with this mushroom? Magic mush? Nope. Magic mushroom. Magic mushroom. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. He wants a mushroom. Can he get a mushroom? No, he can't. Look at the collection of items we've gotten from the no trinket. And there's no guarantee that these items were going to be on those pedestals. We all are aware of this. We know that no trinket removes active items. So there could have been... Monster Man Will could have been where Capricorn was. For all we know. Like, the ability to just remove active items from the pool on a run at given will is super useful for me. Because I do prefer passive items. As you can tell, I'm not terribly affected by the fact that we don't have a good active item. We have a decent active item. Sun card is really good. We have a decent active item. Poop isn't terrible. Is it, like, stellar? No. It's it's definitely something that you want to replace uh, at pretty, pretty much the first notice you want to replace it. But it does exactly what it needs to do. It deflects tears when I need tears deflected. And right now it's acting as a defensive maneuver. And I'm okay with it acting as a defensive maneuver because that's all I need from it. I'm not expecting it to do, you know, give me times two damage multiple. I'm not expecting it to do any of that. I know exactly what I've got, and I'm using it for that. Granted, I'm not being hit by a lot of projectiles. Most of our damage on this run is from getting booped on the snoot by random enemies, but... The fact that we have a really good run right now with Blue Baby has me very confident in the fact that the poop is going to end up saving us more hits than it's going to allow us to take. Or than it's going to let us take. Which doesn't make sense, but if you think about it, it makes sense. Like right there, that was risky. Managed to make it work, got another key. And now we got Super Bandit, so it's a plus 3 HP upgrade. That's splendid. I'm going to come in here. Uh, I wish I had the Devil card, or the, the uh, Cherry card still. I don't. Money. Money. Nope. Hoping for damage upgrades for this money. 6.534 tier rate. I'm going to shoot the poop, hoping for a dime. We got a half heart. It's okay. Keep the poop cocked. Which is a weird sentence, I'm realizing. Keep the poop cocked, just in case. You never know. I'm a dumbass, and that's okay. It's okay to be a dumbass, because we only took a half-heart damage there. This room is full of champions. I'm displeased. But... We managed to make it work. We got so many batteries. One nickel. A petrified poop here would be fantastic as well. I'm gonna go to the shop. It's another reroll machine. I'm not happy with that. I would prefer it if you gave me 
I don't have any bombs. Prefer it if you gave me something that I could bomb for more damage. When you give a man money equals power on your first floor, you expect him to just destroy his shop. I'm not given the ability to do that. Not only do I not have bombs, but we also don't have access to donation machines so far, it seems. There's a bomb, but I'm too lazy to go back. It's also not a donation machine, so we're fine. I'm going to poop in this room. Just because I, the hex shot from these guys would have been a bit weird. It's just a free dodge. It's a free dodge, which which I'm okay with. As an item, I'm okay with that. Yo, okay, this is this is this has got to get these guys got to go. These guys got to go. The boils are becoming my nightmare. I should be able to kill Gertie on this volley. He's dead. Still a boil back there. I don't know how these boils are surviving. Wooden spoon is great. Devil deal, unfortunately, but it gives us flying. And spectral tears, which I think I'm going to take for three hearts. I'm going to bomb this boy. Give me pennies. That is a key. You may as well take Gimpy. Because we're going to end up coming across this HP as, as easily as the sun rises. Which is not very easy. I'm realizing my... Uh, my verbiage there is not the best analogy. Pennies? Actually, bombs are great because I can go in here now. Cricket's head. Damage. I'll take damage. That Those chests alone were, like, huge for us here. If we could get, if we could land a piercing on this run, like a Sagittarius, a Cupid's arrow, if we could land piercing, a death touch from our next devil deal would be fantastic. Like anything, well actually a death touch would not be fantastic because our damage doesn't need to increase terribly compared to our HP. We'd be at a half heart if we took a uh, death touch right now. We have spectral, this is... Glorious. We also have flying. I have to remember that we have flying. I tend to forget when I have flying. Like, as I'm going through rooms, people have all often called me for an idiot. Oh, look at that. That's so good. People have called me for an idiot because I'll have flying, but I'll still actively walk around obstacles. I'm an idiot. That was a champion, which means we took a full heart of damage there. Not happy about that. We need HP. Taking Gimpy was a bit greedy. Considering the fact that I'm not expecting to be hit on this run. Luck down, I don't actually care about. I'm gonna be real here. Don't really give a damn. I'm gonna go down. This is fantastic. This is one of those rooms where you're like, Penta, you have flying. And I'm like, dude, I know. It's so good. Two keys and two bombs for infinite. I'm okay with that. Also, please, thank you. I would have been fine with either outcome there. Actually, counterfeit penny. We have marbles. We have a chance to gulp it. I'm okay. Item room is... Ugh, Curse of the Blind is so rude. Rainbow Baby is fine. I'll take the Rib of Greed because it prevents Greed from showing up in our shops. Which, as I'm saying it out loud right now, with money equals power and golden bombs, I'm much happier saying it out loud now. These champions have to die. These guys have to die, man. Everything in this room needs to die. I think we've established the death of the freaking universe right now. Confusion. It's kind of a hard counter for knights. Even floating knights. And the fact that we have flying is also a hard counter for floating knights as well. I'm taking the pill. You can't stop me. It's range down. I'm not really affected by it. Being real. All right, there's a donation machine. I'm bombing this, not only for the deal chance, but also money. I'd like to hopefully get to eight. If we can manage eight, I'm, I'm fine. One more bomb, 
We're not hurting our donation machine. We're not hurting our donation machine a terrible amount. We're over eight now. I'm feeling good. Ooh, okay, this guy's got some weird, wacky, inflatable arm filling tube man shit going on right now. Haven't seen a tinted rock. Concerned. The fact that I can kill those guys before they're even a threat is tasty. Golden bombs. It's a golden scenario. You could say it's totally going to be Ghost Baby. Yeah. I'm so happy to have Ghost Baby right now. It's more spectral shit just firing out in the, into the world. There's our boss fight as expected. Golden bombs with blue fires. I'm stoked. I did take damage there. I don't know why we lost. Wait a second. Why did we lose a penny? Why did we lose a penny? Did that champion drop? make you drop money? Is that a greedy champion? If so, I've never seen it before, and I'm curious. Okay, Gish is not the boss you want to fight. Because little Gish is definitely not an item I'm interested in getting. Also, we have very little HP. I'm, I'm always happy to have Gish. It's just... There's things I want aside from little Gish. If you know what I'm saying. It's a touchy run. A heart and a half. Remember that we're at a heart and a half. Don't go in that curse room. <sighs> I want to do it, but I can't afford to do it. Is this another curse of the blind? No, it's curse of the unknown. As I've established by telling myself that I was at a heart and a half and reminding myself of my HP. Again, I'm an idiot. Let's keep that in mind. One item away. That's bad. Puts us out a freaking heart, which means a champion could kill us. I'm not stoked about that. I'm not stoked about our HP right now. Gimpy was a bad idea. Gimpy, I think, is always a bad idea. Hot take. Uh, but you get greedy with Gimpy. We don't have golden bombs anymore, but I'm still going to bomb these skulls. Blackheart could change the day. Hierophant card could change the day. Chubb doesn't change the day, but he's definitely exciting to see because he can drop a soul heart. He didn't. He could have though. He just he just chose not to. He's having a bad day. I'm actually having a bad day. I'm not gonna get into why because it's just drama, and I don't want to touch on drama. But <sighs> Virgo's pretty good. Virgo is just good pills. This is a strange, strange ass room. I don't know how to feel about this one, but part of me is very happy. I don't know what part of me, but part of me is very happy. I cannot take the hearts because I don't have HP. <sighs> okay, well, this is exciting. There we go, there's HP. Take the golden heart. Take the nickel. Bomb this boy. Take the money. It's damage. Alright, well, our item room was Virgo, which means if we start to see pills again, we're taking them. Because that means they're good. Virgo was good pills for those that don't understand. Okay, so this is King Boy. I'm not happy about it. I said pills are good, so we're taking them. Doesn't mean that we're going to just take pills out of the store. I don't think buying pills is a good idea. However, bombing this, good idea. I mean, this is a good idea. Uh, I think that's it. As much as I'd love to get more out of that, I don't know what my HP is, and I'm very worried. I'm more worried because of the fact that we did not get 
a soul heart out of that shop. I would have been willing to lose the damage we would have gotten from Money Equals Power for a single heart there. Because I don't know what our HP is, and that concerns me, because I believe we might be at a half heart. Because I think our golden heart is gone, isn't it? Did we lose our golden heart in that shop? We might not have. All pills are good. Or, well, all pi all bad pills are removed, is what I should say. Not all pills are good. There's a lot of trash neutral pills, too. Considering retrovision is considered a good pill. The lack of tinted rocks has also got me a little worried. Ace of Hearts is really good, if we can find a room full of shit. Uh, this guy might drop a soul heart. He didn't. Turn that into a half heart. Well, we downgraded. That's okay. I'm going to grab my devil card back. This is a bad room. Kill them before they shoot at you. That's the goal. Thank you. Boss fight. This is bad. I'm going to use the devil card. It's a risky devil card. I'm trying to stay out of the way of the eyes, because the eyes could hurt me. The eyes could actually kill me. If I'm not careful. We're going up this time, I believe. There's a tinted rock. About time. Feeling a little more safe with my, my run right now. I will bomb these. One black heart. Nope. Alright, moving on. Let's find out what our HP is. I feel like we're at one and a half. We're at two and a half with two golden hearts. Okay, so we didn't lose our golden hearts. That's a positive. Fuck me. What an idiot. This Was there a sucky boy in the middle of that? And that's why I got confused? Something broke my brain right there. I'm not sure what it was. Something broke my brain, though. That was an exploding dude. I didn't even realize. Tinted rocks. Dude, HP up. I'm so fucking dumb. I'm... Thank you. I'm ridiculously stupid, and I should not be allowed to play games. <laughs> Why is it just run into damage penta? <laughs> What's wrong with me? That's like the thing that I do, man. It's just, I find damage and I run straight first into it. We just need to find one tinted rock. We're one tinted rock away from glory. Because we're at max damage from money equals power, which is stupidly good. You get like a plus three point something or other from this goddamn item if you get max uh, max money. I'm going to shoot all this because of our tier rate and the fact that the random soul heart drop from them is like, it's like a 10% chance, but still there. 10% is still a percentage. Don't know if you guys know that. Reader, beware. You're in for a scare. Secret room. <sighs> yeah. We already have flying. Even though I'm really excited to see that, Genuinely excited to see that. I will pay damage. One up is bad. Samson's chain is also bad. I'm just gonna choose to not take any of this crap. Uh, I wish I could bomb that beggar boy, but I cannot. Transcendence is such a rare item for me to see. I'm always excited when I see it. However, this is the rare run where you don't actually want to grab Transcendence because you can already fly. There's our bomb. You never know how much 3% is going to get you, chat. 3% could get you literally... That, that's... It's... It's not a lot. <laughs> but it's enough to make it good. Also, Dim Bulb is really good here. We don't have any more shops, so we don't have to worry about Ribbit Greed. Dim bulb on the room just gives us a massive damage upgrade. 
so as well as like other stats but damage is the one we're focusing on we can't get a tears up from it because we have maxed above max tears actually but uh with the poop every single room we're getting a damage upgrade Golden bombs. Well, let's just do it. He's char he was charmed, thanks to Rainbow Baby. Little Steven, that's conjoined. Duality I'm not taking because I don't live life that dangerously. I usually would, but on a f potential 50 streak, rotation streak, I'm not taking that risk. You can't make me. <sighs> However, that is absolutely worth taking. It's a trade. We're paying one heart for literally a massive damage upgrade. Oh, Penta, you paid three hearts. Aha, but you're wrong. I technically paid two hearts. And that is where you have to realize the damage is definitely worthwhile. Trust me on that much. Pick up the HP after the fight. You're not in danger, so don't be a tool. Really good. Feeling positive, actually. Trying. Oh, I was trying to get that to shoot the cyst that was sitting there because that cyst could have had an HP upgrade in it. I played way too much anti birth. Every time I come into this room, I expect wormwood to pop out. Actually, I'm going to go back to that room. That's the room I want. One blood clot. We're feeling fancy. <laughs> How many golden bombs on this run, man? Three? Four? Crazy. Plus an additional bomb on top of it. Feeling fancy. Good pill. Puberty. It's technically good. It could be an HP upgrade soon enough. It's not a good pill inherently, but it's a default pill that's not unwelcomed. <sighs> One blood clot, come on. Oh, what an idiot. Should not have been hit there. That is for sure. Pretty fly is good. Why are there so many red hearts? Is this just like a curse of blue baby? Why are there so many red hearts? I feel like I'm getting way too many red hearts. Oh, Gimpy. And that is the moment that chat erupted. Her comment section erupted in fury. I can't believe he forgot he had Gimpy. He dear, he seriously underrates it, man. Gimpy. Enemies are more likely to drop red hearts. Continuing to prove that Gimpy was the wrong choice on this run. I always forget about that effect. Really was not expecting to get hit there from that, but... It's all good. Please allow me to kill you. Thank you. I haven't had a card in like seven years. Okay, here we go. Just 
Just get that slow shot from Gish, and we're feeling... Oh, God. That was actually a nasty combat. Nasty uh, tear pattern for Gish to proc and then unproc. All right, we have no devil deal on this floor. We're going up. Stairs. En route, two floors away from 50 wins on this streak. Not gonna lie, the idea of that uh, vanity. Very interesting to me right now with Virgo. I would say it's a good idea. Well, sometimes I do something right. Luck up. Verp. Luck up. And a pretty fly helps us out on the chest. That luck up, I mean. Uh, pretty fly helps us out every time. Just adds more defensive capabilities to this run, which is exactly what Blue Baby is about, is defense. There tend to be a good decent... a uh, good decent. There tend to be a decent amount of tinted rocks on the cathedral, so I'm going to keep my eye out for them. I'm not sure if that's a game mechanic. That's one of those things I might have to actually, like, deep dive into, but I'm pretty sure it's just the standard spawn. But because of... <laughs> God, my throat is dry. I need to take a drink. But because of the amount of rocks that actually spawn on this floor, uh, comparably to the other ones, I think the tinted rock chance seems higher. But if it is higher, like if it legitimately is a game mechanic where Cathedral has like an extra 2% chance to get a, a tinted rock, that's pretty cool. Because there, there's always a ton of tinted rocks on this floor. You may not see them because you don't go to every room usually. But uh, there, there are definitely a lot of tinted rocks on the cathedral. And we've just used all our bombs. I don't really care about sack of pennies at all. Ever. Clearing rooms with relative ease. Then there's the Wazoobs, as you might expect. We've killed two of them. We've killed all of them. Nice. Gnarly. Gnarly Quinn. I'm actually really surprised there's not a Tinted Rock on this room. You would have expected. I feel like the Isaac fight is going to be... Damn it. I feel like the Isaac fight is going to be easier than uh, you might expect. Thank you, little Gish. Or Rainbow Baby. One of you slowed him. That's all I know. Dry Baby would have been fantastic on this run. If I can manage to not get hit, I'd be really happy. Enter into the cathedral with a couple bucks of health. We're doing a lot of damage. And to take a drink. I get it. We'll take a drink when the fight's over. It's too stressful right now. We should be able to kill him this volley. Ah, we just missed because we missed the first several shots. Gotta get those first shots to count. Count Chocula. Take a drink. Some sweet succulent rum. Ooh, Ouija board. So good. We already have Spectral, my friend. Thunder Thighs is actually tempting. I'm not even gonna lie. But it's only a 1 HP upgrade, which makes me not want it. That changes my mind a little bit, because I just took some stupid damage. <laughs> Alright, please. For the love of God. There you go. Items. 
One widow down, two widows down, and three widows down. Chest. Contagion is real good. This big room might, well, hold on. This big room might prove it. Never mind. It's Chubbs. But it's confused Chubbs. Ron Baby's always welcome. I don't know why I'm not using the poop. I should be. We can just eradicate their HP. Like, Chubb is rather tanky. We're doing a good, good old meat and potatoes to these boys. I should be able to knock him out in one, yeah. Not even a problem. Chest. Golden bombs. I think that's number six. I actually forgot that Blastasis could jump. Legitimately forgot that he could jump. You know that the attacks aren't memorable, or you don't get to see them very often when you forget a boss has an attack. It's like saying, oh shit, I forgot that monster too at Brimstone. Ten bombs, I'll take it. We have golden bombs, not like it matters. If there was a Bomber Boy transformation, it would be, be helpful, but we don't actually have that in this game. A little hiccup in the frames there. Don't care for it, but that's part of the game. Isaac does that from time to time. It doesn't matter what kind of computer you have, Isaac will do that. Dagaz, free HP. I'm actually going to want to kill Sloth last. Give me that card, Rune. Hoggle is not useful. Please use the item, my dude. Lard is 2 HP. Absolutely worth the speed downgrade. Over, uh... Over the Thunder Thighs. Thunder Thighs is cool because you can smash rocks, but we don't have rocks on this floor. Uh... Dep Dep depression is fine. My throat is so dry. My god. Dude, I've been talking so much. My throat is actually like the Sahara. This might be the most I've talked in an Isaac episode continuously. I don't think I've taken many vocal breaks. So you better appreciate this goddamn episode, you bunch of heathens. Where is my blue baby fight? That's smart fly. I'm, I'm going to take damage against blue baby. I'll, I'll, I'll be 100% honest with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna proc Smartfly. I do like Smartfly quite a bit. Health up is fine. Thank you, War. Ron Baby's doing his work. Little Stevie's doing his work. It's a little late for counterfeit penny, but you know what? I'll take it. A little late for steam sale. Also, 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 every time we use the put, we we did not gain, we didn't take any hindrance from the lard because we have dim bolt, which means every room we're getting back to full speed anyway. I'm really lucky he didn't use his Brim Attack. Could have very easily hit him with his Brim Attack there. I was just hovering below him. Alright, here we go. Pretty Fly's doing his work. Both of them. Doing a wonderful job. I'm going to take a little bit of damage here. Get that Smart Fly active. He's going to just chew his ass. Contagion did some poison damage there. Happy about it. 
Celtic Cross is doing serious work right now. Celtic Cross gave us the win. My god. Celtic Cross with that late... Well, that might have been Virgo as well. We, we had two... Yo, we had three with the Polaroid. We had three means of getting a shield. That's cool. All right, 50! Fifty. Fifty. See you guys. Monday? Question mark? Maybe Tuesday? What? It depends on when this goes up. I forgot. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video.